So we all know that a good camera means absolutely nothing without the right lens, right? So let's take a look at this 50 millimeter airy anamorphic lens. Let's remove a couple zeros from the price and we end up with this guy. I got this lens for $48. See, Canon made a lens that's very identical to this and it's their cheapest lens yet. And then this is a knockoff of that one. It's an EF mount lens, which means it fits on most Canon cameras, like the Canon 80D I'm filming on. It also fits on like a, a Rebel or a C100, C300. And it's even adaptable to a cinema camera like this RED. Do you guys think it's gonna look like absolute trash? Do you think it's gonna look pretty good? It's actually making this camera feel super small and light. And it's like this little focus ring. It's like, ee. let's try this, this is stupid. We're gonna go out and film some stuff with this setup. And here's some of the footage. By the way, this was a shoot that Angel whipped up last minute for us. You might remember her from a couple of the previous videos. Angel's always doing awesome, crazy cool stuff. So make sure you go send her some love. And of course, don't forget to follow her super talented friends who all came out to help that night. You will not regret it, I promise. Now that was pretty cool, right? But that kind of lighting and setup, it makes it pretty difficult to see the characteristics and qualities of this lens. So we're gonna switch over to footage with entirely natural lighting shot at different times of the day. By the way, do you guys like how overly dramatic this music is? The music kind of gave this scene a feeling of intent or emotion, but really here Mika's just straight up thinking about if we're gonna get fish tacos after. How about we try switching up the music a little bit? What you guys think of the footage? Was it along the lines of what you were expecting? Did it perform better or worse? Let me know in the comments. I'm super curious to know what you guys think. Me personally, I thought it performed pretty damn good. Just to make it clear, I'm definitely not saying this is the best lens I've ever used. I mean, if you compare this against a cinema grade lens, this thing gets shredded apart in a second, but this lens costs less than to fill up my Jeep with gas. There's a dozen reasons why this lens underperforms compared to the pro grade lenses, like the clarity, the coating on the lens, the most obvious being this focus ring. I mean, there's very little travel. I mean, this isn't really meant for video. This is more for photography, but operating this little thing in manual focus was a real struggle. I noticed a lot of my shots were like 80 to 90% in focus, but it just didn't have that perfect 100% super crisp image. That's, I mean, that's the range of travel right there. Opposed to a Zeiss like that, which has all this travel, so I can really get nice and precise with the focus. But I think it's safe to say, if you have this lens, learn to use it, learn its limitations. This could potentially be the best $48 investment you could make to your camera arsenal. Especially if you don't have anything that's like in the 50 millimeter range. This is no doubt a better lens, but I'm not gonna wanna carry this thing around with me all the time, especially if I'm traveling or, or hiking or something like that. Like this little thing is a very small investment in terms of carrying it with you wherever you go. Like if this lens got stolen or broke, I'd be like, dang, well that sucked. But if I dropped this thing and it broke, I'd be like, all right, where's the noose? Let's do it. 
And by the way, this is a 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. The 1.8 means that you could get some pretty shallow depth of field and also shoot in some pretty good low light out of it. And 50 millimeter is like a pretty tight angle. But if I'm doing like a vlog, I'm really counting on this wide lens to get a majority of the video and be able to throw this lens in once in a while to get some super creative shots. For example, some of these shots, you just can't achieve super shallow depth of field on a super wide angle lens. If you guys are interested in picking up one of these, I'll put a link in the description. And would you guys want to see what it looks like if we put a proper cinema lens on like a basic camera like this ADD maybe? I don't know if that's something you guys want to see, let me know and I'll put that on the list of, you know, ridiculous videos to film that makes no sense really. Uh, hey guys, I just finished editing the video and I just realized I didn't film an ending, so here it is, it's an ending. Um, I guess while we wait, we can just play with the autofocus. I have the 50 millimeter on the 1.8 and I'm just going to move around so you guys can see the autofocus speeds and also there's no image stabilization on the lens so keep that in mind you might want to have some sort of tripod or some sort of stabilizer or at least like a little handle